Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks locomotive review. Now in this review we're going to be taking a look at a Lima model but before we do just an update on the house move. Um, everything is boxed up and ready to move into the new house but we have got a meeting with the solicitor tomorrow um, just to find out where we are up to because we're all ready to move but it's either our buyer's buyer or our buyers that seem to be delaying the process a little bit um, as they haven't signed their contracts yet and we've done everything else that we had to do ready to sell the house so we've got an energy certificate we've had some electrical work done um, and a few other minor things so like I say we're just waiting on the other parties involved now so, let's get on with today's review then. So, last weekend I went to a model railway exhibition slash swap meet in Stafford at the county showground and I picked up this. It's a EW and S Lima class 73. Now, at the time the particular price was £32, but on top of that there's like a star cardboard um, sticker of sorts that said 10% off so I was actually charged 15 so I got it roughly about £11 cheaper than what it should have been so it is quite a bargain and it is a locomotive I've been watching on eBay as well for quite some time but unfortunately I never actually won any of them that I seem to put a bid on so I finally got it so without further ado let's take a look at the rest of the loco on the box then Okay, so as you can see on the side here, um, we know it's a pre-owned item being put for sale into added in Image Maker. Um, I think the seller was Paul Hurst, 13th or 10th, 2014. So I'm not too sure what relevance this information has. Um, it's probably whoever it was sold to, he put a sticker on um, as part of his stock levels. So I'm not too sure. Now as you can see it looks like the newer style of Lima boxes actually because it says Lima models. Now the other Lima locomotives which I have say Lima collections on. So as we can see it should have been 32.75, but I got it for 15. So if we just turn the box around to the side now. Oh we have some more information on the side here. So I'm guessing it's the model number is L205169. Now it should have been 37.50 there. So it's had quite a bit of money knocked off. Um, and the actual model number is underneath here. So somebody stuck a label over the top of it. But we'll be taking a look at the model in a minute anyway. So as you can see there, we just have a bit of information on the side. Okay, so if you have a look at the back, you can see um, we have the Lima logo as well as an image of a express train locomotive, I guess it is, and a steam locomotive. Okay, so let's get this model open and take a look at it then. But like I say, this particular model I needed for my fleet of EWS anyway, um, and I've only got a Hornby class 59 left to purchase now for the EWS fleet, um, and then I've got quite a full fleet then. Okay, so as you can see, it's in a foam style box as you can see. Now if I just turn the box round to show you this, we've got no holes on the back. Um, so obviously we can't push our hands through to get the locomotive out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to very slowly take it out of the foam tray. As you can see, we've got no detailing pack, but we can use some spares from maybe some Batman or Hornby locomotives that I've got in a spares tin. Um, to detail this particular loco. Okay, so moving on to the loco itself then. I've got to say that there's quite a bit of weight to it, to be fair, and especially for a Lima model as well. So I'm guessing this particular model will need hard wiring because it's not DCC ready. And what I might have this particular one pulling is a rake of maybe some Royal Mail Batman freight wagons. Um, I think they came out last year actually. I'm not too sure. Do like a sorting office 
like a more modern Royal Mail, but I have yet to get some. But once we've moved into our new house, then I will be purchasing these. Okay, so let's take a look at the front of the locomotive then. So, as you can see on the roof here, we've got some horns. Moving down to the windows, you can see we've got some windscreen wipers on the left and right hand side, as you can see. On the front, we have some detailing, um, what looks like pipe work. Now, this isn't like the Batman locomotive sort of pipe work, so I don't know whether this has been added on or not. Um, because I'm sure Lima locomotives didn't have detailing like this when they came out, but I might be wrong. But if you do know if they did, please leave your comments below. Okay, so on the front of the loco here, we've got an area which may be for directional light. Now, it will be fitting some directional lighting and maybe some cab lighting to this particular locomotive as well. So, as you can see, we have the locomotive number 73128 on the front. And on the left and right hand sides, we've got some rounded buffers. These aren't sprung, unfortunately. And here we have the moulded Lima Hornby coupling, which will be coming off on the front, but on the back we'll be putting an NEM pocket coupling so that it's compatible with the newer versions of rolling stock. Okay, so turning the locomotive round to the side now. So as we can see, we've got four wheels on either bogey. Taking a look at the side now, you can see we've got some plastic handrails just there. We've got the windows on the sides, as you can see. It's in a maroon and gold livery colour. And as you can see, just here on the roof area, and just on the side just here, we've got some very nice etched grills. On the gold strip running in between the maroon, you can see we've got the EW and S wording. And moving along to the back now, you can see we have the locomotive number 73128. So, as you can see, again on this side, we've got some plastic handrails and some windows. So, turning the locomotive round to the other side now. Now, I'm not too sure whether this is the front or the back, but they both look the same, as Lima locomotives didn't have a driver in them when they were first released. Okay, so as you can see again, we've got some detailing on the front just here. And if we just look there, we can see we've got some hazard warning panels on the left and right hand sides. Now there's also a little red dot just there. I'm not completely sure what that's for, but if you do know, please leave your comments below. As you can see again, we've got the horns on the roof. And on the bottom here, we've got the rounded buffers, but... Like I say, they're not sprung. And again, we've got a moulded coupling. So, turning the loco round to the other side now. So as you can see on this side, it's actually a bit different. Again, we've got the plastic handrails just there by the cab door. And here you can see we've got a very detailed etched grille. Now, I'm not too sure on the Class 73 whether the fans were actually behind these grills, but if you do know, please leave your comments below. And also, I believe there's a Class 73 in this livery preserved somewhere um, on a private railway or something. I've read it somewhere, but I cannot for the life of me think where. Now, if you do know if this particular loco is actually preserved in this livery, please leave your comments below and let me know where it is, as I might have to maybe pay a visit sometime. Okay, so, getting along with the review. So as you can see under here, I'm guessing this is the fuel tank that's just under here. Um, I thought that might have been a switch under there, but unfortunately it's not. So as you can see again, we have this, the locomotive number 73128 and the EW and S wording. And again, as you can see, we've got some really nice etched grills, as you can see when I run my finger over them. And again on this side we have got some plastic handrails just by the cab door. Okay, so let's take a look at the roof area. So as you can see, the roof area mm, is pretty basic. I mean it is a Lima model, but I have to say it is quite 
detailed and I am impressed with it. Now we have got an etched fan and the grill on top here. Well an etched grill and a fan should I say. Now it's a shame that maybe Hornby didn't remake the Class 73. I know they have done it in the past um, but like maybe in 2017 for example if they chose to do that because that would look really good if it spun round. So as you can see we've got the etched grills on top of the roof area just here and these are the same ones as obviously I showed you when we looked at the sides of the locomotive. Okay so that's it basically the Lima Class 73 in EW and S livery.